What is up my season and just today we are going to be reviewing the Star Wars of Black series episode 3 Revenge of the Sith and against Skywalker. He did not come in a box when I bought him he just came in a little Ziploc bag. So let's get him out of the bag. Move all this out of the way. Alright let's look over his details first. So Starting with the face, starting with the face here, it's a really good head sculpt, really nice facial detail, it really does look focused. It does look like Hayden Christensen when he played Anakin. As you can see, he has a scar there, very nice detail. Really good starting facial expression and as you can see his eyes are either blue or brown if the camera chooses to focus. I think his eyes might be blue here. Yeah they look blue. Anyways the hair looks nicely sculpted lines in his hair. Really great detail. I just can't go over how good this face looks. It looks really great. Moving on down, we get his Jedi robes here. Very cool looking. Some brown here, lightish tan. It, light, so it goes from lightish tan from the inside, brown in the middle, and black on the outside. Some dark brown here. Very nice looking cloak, his Jedi robes here, his gloved arm with where his metal arm is, the one that come to good cough in Attack of the Clones. We get a nice belt with some pouches here and some nice little buttons. A hole to holster his lightsaber, we'll get to that later, and a little pouch here. And we get these soft rubbery pieces here along with some cloth pieces of his cloak down here. So hopefully they won't get in the way of articulation. Same thing in the back. Soft rubbery plastic. Very cool looking pants. And some bunched up wrinkles here in the boot. Pretty nice looking boot with some straps going around here. And the bottom of the boots not much going on. But overall, this Anakin looks really good. And I'm so glad I found my Crush Collectibles because on the internet, he is well over $100. But, man, he is, my, he is one of my favorite characters and I'm just so glad to have him in hand. As you could tell, Revenge of the Sith is my favorite Star Wars movie. Now moving on to the accessories. Moving on to the accessories, we get some pretty cool stuff with this Anakin figure. So first we get his lightsaber hilt here. Let's take a good look at it. It looks like it's been through lots of battles given the chipped paint and all that stuff. I don't remember this piece in the skull to the lightsaber. Maybe it's when he reattached it after it got cut in half in the Joy Factory and Geonosis. There's a little ignition button here. And these two little bumps here, and the way you, you the way you get onto his belt is you align one of these two little these two things with his hole here. You just align it, and you just push it in. Wrong. You just align it with the hole, and there you go. You got Anakin holstering his lightsaber. Not good, but it gets the job done. Anyway, the way you get, and we get his lightsaber blade, which is a nice thick blue, darkish blue, which looks pretty cool. And the way you get it is simple, just peg the lightsaber into the hilt, and there you go. You got Anakin with his lightsaber ready to slay some younglings. Speaking of that, we actually get a second head sculpt here with his Sith eyes. 
Man, these eyes look cool and menacing. I'm trying to get a good line here. There we go. But man, his eyes look really good. For when they, he went to the dark side, then they went to Sith Yellow. And then when you get it off his symbol, just pop this off. Pop this head off and put this head on. Now Anakin is ready to slay some younglings. But that's well, pretty much it for the accessories. I think that, that this head sculpt looks absolutely amazing. And I'm so glad it came with this figure. Now let's move on to the articulation. Moving on to the articulation, we're going to start up and work our way down. So if he cannot look up that much, very little, mostly because of the hair in the back is blocking the way. He could look down pretty much all the way, so that's good. N neck movement, yeah, he has some neck movement. Side to side pivot, not really, but he could do 360, so that's pretty cool. Arm, arm movement, he could do a 360 bicep swivel. Move his arms out all, pretty much a good amount. Though this arm goes out more than this one, I don't know why. Unless... Not it's pretty, not it's like this, but that's pretty alright. Pretty good. Do we get bicep swivel? Uh, no we do not. But we do get a single joint in the elbow that... They bend a little less than 90 degrees. And we do, we do get elbow swivel, so that's pretty cool on both sides. And of course, wrist swivel and wrist hinge. Up and down. For torso articulation, he cannot go back or forth at all. Nor side to side at all. But he could kind of <laughs> do a three... 60. Man, he's kind of tight. And for the leg articulation, he could kick forward about this much. And he could kick back. Not very, not very far at all. He really can't kick back that much, but he could kick forward quite a bit. And he can't, he really can't do the splits pretty much. No. I mean, we get double jointed knees that bend back all the way, so that's pretty cool. Nice little sculpted detail in the pants there. So yeah, double jointed knees, really cool. And we get ankle swivel. Great ankle pivot. We get great ankle pivots. It looks like he's breaking his leg or his foot. And his ankle could go all the way up and all the way down. But yeah, th that's it for the articulation. He has some pretty stiff articulation. Now time to move on to the final thoughts. Moving on to final thoughts. I think that this is a pretty great Anakin figure. I'm, I'm just glad to have an Anakin in my collection. I've been searching the internet for well over a year, trying to find reasonably priced Anakin, but nah, they were well over $100. And I got this at Crush Collectibles for like 45 bucks, so that was pretty cool. I think it comes with a decent amount of accessories and some pretty decent articulation. I would rate it an 8 out of 10, definitely an 8 out of 10. The torso articulation could have been better, but I'm not really complaining too much. Anyway, this is a pretty cool pose after Anakin caught Dooku's hands and caught his lightsaber and is about to kill him. But anyways, guys, if I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like, comment down below what you think of this video. And if you have an Anakin in your collection or want one, and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't, if you hadn't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Do it.